folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading on a gorgeous day in New Hampshire. It's like 55 degrees out here today. <laughs> Hope it melts all the snow. Wishful thinking. <laughs> random reading for the 16th of March. Now, these are general readings, like I always say, you know, take one applies. If it applies, you know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info is in the box below. Um, I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So whether you email me or you give me a shout on the phone, we'll set it up and uh, it will be done quickly. Uh, if you want to learn tarot, I have tarot card classes. They are uh, five videos sent by email. They're $20 a piece, and um, there's a bonus video to go with it, too. And I coach throughout the whole thing, so if you ever get stuck on anything, give me a shout. I'll be there to help. Also, my mystery healing boxes, absolutely beautiful in an array of colors. Um, if you're interested, give me a ring. All right. Let's see what's going on for the 16th. Oh, we got a few of them out here. We have the Ace of Cups. Now here's the Holy Grail of Love. Universe giving somebody an opportunity. It could be a brand new love. Making an old love new again. Having more love for themselves. And then we get the Seven of Cups. We have Confusion. Slim pickings, as I always call it. You get seven cups and not everything looks great. But it's not being able to make a decision. Somebody here could be confused in love. And it could be something about the past. Now we are in Mercury retrograde, so things like the boomerang back. Old issues, people... We have the Six of Cups, and that is nostalgia, fondly thinking about the past. But I feel this person needs to use their intuition and really trust their intuition. You get the High Priestess here. Maybe somebody here could have had an opportunity with someone in the past. Maybe something didn't come to fruition and now they're wondering, wait, I dropped the ball. Or, like I said, something comes back from the past and it could be brand new and someone's just like, why are you back here? <laughs> could be an old issue resolved. Finally some closure maybe. We have the Four of Swords now. And this is taking that pause, taking that breath, reprioritizing, re strategizing, making a plan, and a backup plan. Hmm. Somebody might be confused if somebody starts coming around again. Maybe it's like their old habits, their old ways. If somebody does come back from the past and it was confusing then, you know, it's going to be very confusing this time around too. So, a lot of thought needs to be put into this. If something's going to be pursued or not. And they got to trust themselves. I mean, if this is something that somebody's been waiting for for a while... There's still an element of confusion here. Could be with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Wands. Now, he's a messenger, first and foremost. A message to move on something, to take a course of action. It's right under the Ace of Cups. Maybe if somebody gets lucky enough, gets a chance... To restart something from the past. 
maybe take that step back to, you know, think about the things that went wrong and try to fix those things. Change them if they want something brand new. Because you can't treat something brand new old. Maybe someone is trying to sort it out. How to do this. So this love is fresh and brand new. <laughs> now you get your second ace here. You get the ace of wands. Again, the universe giving you someone an opportunity here to take a fresh course of action. Something that could prosper. Something that could grow into something beautiful. And that same wand is the wand that this fire like person has. Somebody here might see the potential of something. Being able to grow. Be awesome. And the other person's like, how do you see that? Maybe somebody here wants to move quicker into a relationship than the other person. Somebody might be too unsure or not convinced that this is worth doing. Especially if it's got anything to do with the past. Anything to do with the past. You get the Two of Cups in reverse. Right under the Six of Cups. So this is, you know, that soulmate connection. That I get you card. This bond. Like no other bond with someone. And it came in reverse. So definitely this is something from a past that somebody really felt connected to. Maybe even considered a soulmate. But for whatever reasons, it's coming back around. Somebody might not want to take the course of action here. But they have the chance. And the chance is not going to stay open forever. Could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an air-like person. The King of Swords is very direct, precise, focused. Do not come at him with BS. It's an insult to his intelligence. His emotions are in the back seat. He's all about the facts, the numbers. Textbook. And it's right under the High Priestess. So this could be an air-like person who's stuck in their thoughts, which would make sense. About why something's coming back around when something was over. Somebody gets a brand new start. Maybe this person hasn't gotten over the past hurts of why this didn't work out. And thinking about the past, maybe there was no closure. It's keeping one of these people in a confused state. Well, I say get out of your head and start thinking with your heart. Learn from the mistakes. Put them into practice. Don't make them again. And start off fresh and clean. But somebody just can't stop thinking about it. Nine of Swords. This is agony. Overthinking. Anxiety. Losing sleep. And it's right under the Four of Swords. That taking a pause, taking a step back. Well, that's, you know, that's to clear your head and hear yourself think. This is just overthinking. Big time. Worries and stresses. Somebody might be worried and stressed out that they're going to get dusted. The Five of Pentacles. Feeling outcasted, shunned, blocked. The outside looking in. Tar and feathered. <laughs> Somebody here could have learned from their past mistakes. Realized that they did have at one point... Something 
very valuable with another person. And this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. They might be coming back to make it right. The other person could be still stuck in or trying to still heal for whatever happened in the past. Maybe this person ghosted them and they are afraid of it happening again. Okay. Let's get into this one. So, we've got the Holy Grail of Love being offered. And with that comes confusion to someone. Yes, Mercury Retrograde. It brings them back from the past. Six of Cups. Or a situation. And this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, career ship. Any one of those ships. Maybe this time around, somebody should use their intuition. And trust their intuition. You know, give themselves that space to really think if this is something that they really, truly want to invest in. This could be with a fire-like person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. Somebody here is very passionate, sees that something could be great again. And wants to seize the moment and put this into action. These two people could have been really close at one point. But now we have an air like person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on the properties that is analyzing every detail about why this person is back. Taking the emotions out of it. And how do you take the emotions out of the Holy Grail of Love? Come on, air sign. But somebody's trying to do the logical thing. And by doing the logical thing when it comes to love, it gets you stuck in your head. You have to incorporate your emotions, your feelings. And this person is just so worried. Do they do this? Do they take the Holy Grail of love? Do they really rekindle something? Because somebody could have been dusted before in the past. Blocked, shunned, cast aside. And they don't want to feel that way again. Wow. So folks, let's break it down. We've got somebody, a potential fire-like person, okay, sees an opportunity for new love. And this person might want to put something into action, you know, make it better than it was before. And someone's like, whoa, wait a minute. This causes a lot of confuse, confusion for someone. It could be somebody from the past. Somebody that someone was really deeply bonded with, connected with. This person shouldn't overthink or try to critique facts, figures. This person should go with their gut. Go with their intuition. It won't steer them wrong. Because the more this person thinks about this, pauses... The more they're making themselves crazy. Remembering the past hurts and stuff and why they felt like they were outside looking in. This person should take that leap of faith. Take that chance. Take that risk. Because if someone's willing to improve things that happened in the past and make it right or make it better and wants to put that effort into it you should give it a shot. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.